Hello everybody, I just want to give you guys some information about some um, reloading um, that I do. Um, I'm actually at my um, uh, reloading bench here. Uh, that's where I do all my reloading and I have all my reloading gear. You probably, if you look on my channel, which is not that many videos yet, um, you'll see some a little bit of my, my reloading area right there. But I wanted to talk to you about <clears throat> reloading with the Barnes XPB Bullet 441 Magnum. Um, I go on Google and try to find things on Google about this, but I'm not able to find a whole lot. Everybody says, have you found anything about the 41 Magnum using the Barnes Bullet? And I think the reason is, is because Bass Pro Shop actually sells this um, bullet, and um, uh, there's not many off-the-shelf places that you can go buy um, uh, components for 41 Magnum. Now this is the Barnes XPB bullet, so it's all copper. Um, a nice big hollow cavity there. And um, there's not a whole lot of reloading information, but I was going to share with you some of the experiences that I have with reloading this particular firearm. I mean, this particular round. First of all, um, I'm using spent brass, but you can go to Bass Pro and buy the 41 Magnum Remington brass. Uh, the Bass Pro near my house had a couple of bags in stock, and I grabbed a bag um, just for some keeping. Um, the other thing, of course, is your, um, the spent brass that I have. Um, I have various ones. I'm using um, some Remington, some Winchester silver tip old uh, brass that I had as well that I shoot out of uh, another firearm. Um, these are I load specifically for Ruger Blackhawk. Um, and I use this for woods gun. I take hunting with me. I go camping sometimes in, in uh, the bear country up in the North Georgia mountains. And I take this gun with me just for protection, just to be safe. Um, I could go, obviously, with a conventional load, um, factory load. This is the Spear Hunting 210 grain. Um, very nice. I actually have taken a deer with this, um, not by hunting, but by it hitting a car in front of me. So I went ahead and shot it to put it out of its misery type thing. Um, put two bullets in the deer, had complete pass-throughs, but was devastating to the deer. Deer died on the spot, as you would expect from a bullet like this. But, since I don't have those components, I have the Barnes components. Um, I made the Barnes bullet. Um, so here's basically a uh, dummy round that I made of the Barnes bullet. Um, there's no primer in here. Just pretty much pressed it in and crimped it. Um, showing you what a finished round would look like. Um, and also... Um, we can see how it would compare to the Winchester silver tip. You know, pretty much the same length, identical. You know, all these revolvers would have to have that as well. So, silver tip I wouldn't necessarily take hunting with me simply because it's a lighter round. It's 175 grain. The um, Barnes is 180 grain, but it is all copper. And they, they have historically, from what I've seen on the TSX bullets, have penetrated more without expanding. So they use make the bullets lighter so they will expand. I don't have a Barnes book, but I do have this handy dandy sheet of paper that I got off of their website. So basically I wrote down the dimensions that were that are in the book um, if I had bought it. So I only have one cartridge that I use with Barnes. There's no need for me to buy the book. But uh, Barnes 180 gr uh, grain XPB uh, case overall length 1.59 inches gives me the trim length and then it gives me uh, the powder. There's enforcer that you can use, and there's also accurate number nine, which is what I used when I first um, tested it out. So basically, uh, the minimum is 15.8 grains, and that's supposed to give you 13.69 feet per second muzzle velocity, and the maximum is 17.6 at 1521. All right, so um, really in the ballpark of the 1400 range, 14 to 1500, depending on if you hit the max or not. Now. The um, Hornady book that I use, um, I have a couple of different Hornady books, says that you can use number 9 at a higher um, uh, grain than this uh, using the Hornady 210 grain bullet, but um, I just follow what Barnes said because there's not a lot of information on there. So, with that being said, um, used, of course, the accurate number 9 powder for this, and let me tell you what I did. I basically, and I don't have any um, me shooting this or anything like that, but Basically, I used 16 grains. I, I tested five rounds with that. Um, I tested um, five rounds of 16 and a half, and also five rounds at 17. Now, let me say the 16 grain bullet 
I could use that out of my personal carry Smith & Wesson Model 357 because that was a very soft shooting, very accurate round. Um, I don't know how it would expand. I'm going to probably test it in water jugs kind of like TNN Outdoors 9 does um, to see. And I actually have a bunch of water jugs down there ready for me to start blasting, by the way. Um, I, um, I like that load. Um, I don't know if that's something I would take in the woods with me. I was just kind of building the load up. Um, I had um, tried the 16 and a half, and the 16 and a half I did not like. Um, it's kind of interesting how reloaders do that. They try um, a, just a half of a grain in that particular case and didn't really care for that load. Um, I tried the 17, and I liked the 17. It was considerably a little more recoil than the um, 16 grain, but not a huge difference whatsoever. Um, that would, I mean, if 17 and a half is giving me what, um, 17.6 is giving me 15 point, uh, 1,521 feet per second, I'm assuming that 17 um, grains would give me a little under 15, or right at 15, maybe 1490 or something like that, which is a pretty fast moving bullet for that size, um, which is exciting if you're a hunter or anything like that. So, but um, the I don't have uh, you know anything to measure my muzzle velocity or anything. I'm taking guesses and just to let you know um, this information is out of a eight and a half inch barrel. I think it's one of the Taurus trackers or something like that. Um, but anyway, I just kind of want to give you guys uh, some information on the reloading of the 41 using that Barnes bullet. Using that Barnes bullet has been like a big question for a lot of people, and um, I just kind of wanted to get help get some information out there. Um, the uh, the Barnes bullets I, they're intriguing um, because of the all copper. Uh, a lot of people like them. I'm shooting like nine millimeters out of the uh, Corbon. The, you know the Corbon DPX uses that Barnes bullet as well. So I've been really interested in, in, in looking at it, and you can see how it expands and stuff like that on TNN Outdoors 9's um, channel because he does a ammo um, experiment with that. Um, if you have any questions um, about me loading this, um, please feel free to comment. Um, uh, one other thing I guess I'll mention right quick while I have a little bit of time um, is some of my materials that I use for reloading. For those of you who are interested in it, I've done some um, video on that. But you notice that I, I'm using Hornady um, um, uh, dies. I like the Hornady dies, just to let you know. And when you buy a die set, um, it does not come with a shell holder, so if you buy some 41 Magnum dies or any Hornady dies, make sure that you, you order a shell holder. This is not a common shell holder because the 41 Magnum is not a common round, but number 29 is the one you need for that. Um, but you can obviously go online and order these all day long. And I ordered one from Hornady. It was here within like uh, seven or eight days, and, and they were you know, very good in sending me my information. So. Um, they're they're nice. The the dies itself I load I ordered from a local gun shop, and um, they sent me the inform the uh, the dies within about two or three business days from their supplier. So good dies. I use them a lot, and you can notice that my stuff is a little hodgepodged. I got RCBS um, powder measure, um, RCBS tricklers, Lyman scales, Hornady press, lock and load press. Love this press. I would recommend it to anybody. Um, and I got a Hornady case trimmer and tumbler. So um, lots of good stuff there. If you have any questions about anything about reloading, let me know. I'm not an expert, but I have been doing it a little bit and love it. So great stress reducer. Please comment. Let me know what you think about these Barnes bullets. If anybody has any experience, any help would be, um, any um, comments would be helpful. So take care.